Hello everybody. <coughs> Welcome to this video training. Today we're gonna study this protocol called HSRP. First of all, what is HSRP? HSRP is a protocol that allow host on the local area network to have one or multiple backup default gateway. Just like you see in this presentation, I have uh, two routers and uh, one of the router will be the default gateway for those hosts on the local area network, on the LAN. And the other router is going to be a backup router. So, uh, let's see how HSRP uh, works. HSRP uh, routers join a group, uh, an HSRP group number. And uh, once uh, those routers join the group number, an active router is de designated and a standby router is also designated, as you see up here. So let's take a look at the HSRP operation. Like you see up here in this presentation, a router in the same HSRP group number are seen by host as a single virtual router. So uh, if you have a group of router in an HSRP group number, those routers are seen as a single virtual router, as a, uh, as a single virtual router. And that virtual router has a uh, virtual IP address and a virtual MAC address. You know, the virtual MAC address, like I see, uh, I put up here, because uh, you, uh, I'm gonna mention that we have two versions of HSRP. We have HSRP version one, and HSRP version 2. Uh, so the virtual MAC address for the HSRP version 1 is uh, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, uh, 0, c 0, 7, a, c, and I put uh, 2x up there. Uh, those 2x uh, uh, represent the HSRP group number in hexadecimal. So you have to keep that in mind. And the virtual MAC address for HSRP version 2 is like you see up here, 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0C, 9FF, and the uh, uh, last three digits you see up there represent the HSRP group number in hexadecimal. So just keep that in mind. So now let's see how the active and standby router are chosen in HSRP, uh, in an HSRP uh, network. So HSRP router exchange what we call uh, HSRP uh, messages called uh, hello messages. So they, ex they exchange hello messages. And the HSRP routers go through an election process like you see up here uh, to uh, choose the active router and the standby router. And this election is uh, determined by the highest priority. I mean what I mean about that is the router with the highest pri priority will be the active router and the, route, uh, the next router uh, with the highest priority, priority will be the standby router. But uh, since uh, uh, you should know, uh, I'm gonna, you should know that all the HSRP router by default have the same priority of 100. So the router with the highest uh, IP address will become the active router. So uh, uh, because th uh, they have the same pr priority, so the IP address will dictate or will determine the active router and the standby router. If the priority is the same. So you have to keep that in mind. So once the election is done, only the active and standby router send periodic uh, HSRP messages. So wh what I mean about that, so if you have more than two routers, only you, you cannot have more than one active and standby router. You, you're going to have only one active router and one standby router. So the other router will uh, uh, will not uh, send uh, hello messages. They, they just maybe going to be listening for hello messages. So if the if the active router fell, the standby router will take over as the active router. And the, if the standby fails or become the active router, then the another router. If there is another router in the in the group, the router will be elected as the standby router. So you have to keep the. Uh, that's how. Uh, uh, the election process work with HSRP. So uh, now let's uh, talk about uh, because a lot of people do, don't understand those uh, HSRP states. So I'm gonna uh, try to explain you because we have six states 
with HSRP, draw can be in to one of those six states. States. Uh, first of all, the initial states. That means HSRP has just started. I put up here, but this what, what it means is HSRP. If uh, like the interface is down and uh, you, uh, HSRP is configured, it's gonna you're gonna see the router is gonna be in a, in the initial state. So that means if the interface is, is down, so the router is in the initial state. The learning state is uh, the router is uh, uh, have HSRP running, but it is uh, it does it, uh, the router, the router don't, doesn't know about uh, the virtual IP address. And for the listening state, now the in this state, the router know the virtual IP address and is receiving the hello messages. Usually, uh, like the, those router that are they are uh, they uh, they going to be uh, uh, the router is going to be on the listening state if the router is not the active router nor the stand uh, the, uh, the standby router. So the router is going to be usually on the on the listening state. And uh, the speak state is when this router is sending and receiving hello messages. Usually, the state is uh, when the the router are on the Election process. So when they try to determine the standby and the active router, so usually the 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 the, 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 the those, those HSRP uh, router they're going to be on the speak state, and the standby uh, state is the router that uh, the, the router uh, the standby router is going to be on the standby state, and the active router is going to be on the active state, and each state has a number up here. Uh, I represent like number one is is in initial, number two is learn. Like because when we're gonna be uh, opening the HSRP packet, uh, hello packet, you're gonna see those number in the in the inside the packet. So when I when I'm gonna uh, go through the configuration. So uh, now finally let's talk about the difference between or the uh, doing a small comparison between HSRP version one and version two. So uh, like I told you, you know you, you already know that because the the MAC address, the virtual MAC address is not the same between HSRP version one and version two. And version one messages are sent on the multicast two two four zero dot zero dot zero dot two, and HSRP version two messages are sent on the multicast address two two four dot zero dot zero dot one o two, and the group number also have uh, there is a difference up here because HSRP version one only support only support uh, two 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 hundred and sixty uh, fifty six uh, group number, uh, uh, but uh, HSRP version two supports up to like uh, four. Uh, 4096 uh, group number so uh, we have we have a lot more group number with HS, HSRP version 2 and uh, uh, right now I'm going to try to go to Cisco Packet Tracer because this, with Cisco Packet Tracer uh, 6.0 you, you're going to have you're going to see that those uh, devices run HSRP version 2 so we're going to be working with HSRP version 2 so I would like to for you guys that watching the video to keep that, to keep that in mind so let's come now right now to uh, Cisco Packet Tracer so as you see up here in Cisco Packet Tracer, I have a simple diagram up here. I have uh, two router, those two router, router one and router two, they're going to be on in the HSRP group. And I have router three. Router three is going to represent, is going to simulate our outside world up here. So that's why I put outside world up here. Router three is up here. And router three is uh, uh, connected to those two routers up here. And I have a single PC. This is going to be a testing PC we're going to use in order to uh, verify the configuration for HSRP. Uh, so, so I hope you and I already labeled the interfaces like up here in this network up here. I have the 192.168.1.0 network, and up here on this uh, 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 up here uh, like uh, the connection with the router three uh, between those uh, between router three and those two routers. Uh, uh, is going to be the, the network 192.168.2.0. So let's go back to the presentation. So we're going to be talking about the configuration. The configuration is a piece of cake, but uh, for me, my focus is to understand the HSRP concept concept because that's where a lot of people uh, uh, will have problem uh, because it's going to be, <laughs> believe me, it's going to be just a single command in order to turn HSRP on on the router or in order to make this router. Uh, running HSRP, you just need a single command. But uh, of course, the, you're going to need some uh, some other command in order to uh, to tune uh, the the protocol. But just a single command, uh, the HSRP is running on the router. The like you see up here, this is going to be this command up here. And like up here, I put up here. This is very important. The virtual IP address, you, because you're going to have to choose a virtual IP address. That virtual IP address should be the default gateway for the host on the LAN. 
So in uh, order to show you that, let's go back to Cisco Packet Tracer. Yeah, you, like you see up here, this uh, host, I told, uh, I told you this host is on, uh, on, on our LAN, the local area network. And this host will have a default gateway, uh, which point is going to point to the virtual IP address uh, for those two routers. So uh, in order to uh, do the configuration, I'm going to, I'm going to first of all try to do a configuration for OSPF because let me, uh, I'm going to advise you that uh, if you are doing HSRP, if you are, uh, uh, if your router are running HSRP, I'm going to advise you to use a protocol like OSPF uh, because it is the fast protocol or EIJRP, but don't try to use like a protocol like RIP <laughs> because uh, it's going to mess up your network. So just try to use a fast routing protocol in, uh, with HSRP. So I'm going to go to router, router one up here. I'm gonna go to the global config mode. Conf T. I'm gonna do router OSPF. This is gonna be very fast OSPF because I hope you guys know how to do the OSPF configuration. I'm gonna do network 255.255 and I'm going to do area 0 area 0 uh, and that's it so uh, I will do the same up here I'm going to copy that just to go a little bit, a little bit faster uh, I'm going to go back uh, I'm going to go to router 2 I'm going to do enable conf t and I'm going to do router OSPF 1 and I'm going to just paste that so it's going to be quicker area 0 and uh, router you see router 2 has form a network relationship with router 1 so I'm going to go to router, router 3 I'm going to do the same thing enable conf t uh, uh, conf t uh, I made a mistake, conf t and I'm going to do router OSPF OSPF1 OSPF1 and uh, I'm going to do network I'm going to paste that it's going to be faster so uh, OSPF is running on both of this router up here as you see up here so uh, so uh, <laughs> now we're going to go and do the configuration bit, uh, of HHRP between router, uh, of, uh, we're going to do the HSRP configuration on router 1 and after router we're going to go to router 2 and do the, the same thing. But before that, I'm going to go to simulation mode because I, I want to show you in action how those HSRP hello messages are sent back and forth between router 1 and router 2. So I'm going to go to simulation mode right up here uh, and I'm going to choose uh, HSRP up here and let's go now, right now to uh, Let's go to router, router one. And like I told you up here in the presentation, put that in mind. <laughs> the configuration for HRP is done through the interface configuration mode. So everything you're doing with HRP is done uh, through that interface. And that's going to do HRP. So, uh, let's go back to, uh, to Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay. Now, let me exit from here. Exit. So the interface we're going to be working on with router 1 is going to be FA0 slash 1. So I'm going to open up router 1 up here. I'm going to do interface. Uh, interface. F0 slash 1. And I'm going to do a standby. Standby. And I'm going to do 16. That's, that's going to be my group, my HSRP group. And let's use the question mark. It's going to ask you the IP address. Enable HSRP and set the virtual IP. This is IPv6. The reason why we have this is version 2 support, support, support IPv6. But version 1, I think, don't support IPv6 up here. So let's use the, the question mark. Do IP. And let's use the question mark. It's going to ask the virtual IP address. Likewise, what I told you. And in this case, I'm going to be using, the, and the virtual IP address has to, has to be an IP address that's going to belong to this, to this network up here, to this 192.168.10.1.0 network. You have to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go 
to round one back. I'm gonna do one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot five. And as you see, that's it. That's all you need. So this router is running now HSRP. <laughs> so let's go to to router two and do the same thing. We're gonna exit from here. And we're gonna do interface FA zero slash one and we're gonna do standby. That's how you do it. Standby and we're gonna do uh, sixteen, that's the group number. So let's use the question mark in order to show you. Always start with the group number sixteen and we're gonna use uh, the question mark and it's gonna ask the IP. We're gonna do IP because we aren't working with IPv6, so IP. 192.168.1.5 so that's going to be the virtual IP and that's it so now you are done let's now try to see how does uh, you see uh, R1 is sending uh, an HSRP hello messages let's open the, the this packet up here and let's see what's inside you see up here so uh, let's uh, as you see up here the destination IP, I told you it is the multicast address, 224.0, as you see up here. And uh, uh, this is destined to the HSRP uh, routers. So, uh, uh, and you see up here, version one, version 2 is the one we use up here. And the hello time, the hello time is, uh, uh, the hello time is uh, sent every 3 seconds. And this is, I don't know, maybe they made a mistake up here in Cisco packet tracer, but this, this, they should call it the dead time. The dead time is 10 seconds. So, like, if the router wait 10 seconds and didn't receive a hello message, it's gonna, it's gonna consider the, the neighbor as, uh, as dead, you know? That's the, uh, that's what we call the dead time up here. And you see the priority I told you is, is by default 100. And the group, that's what I configured, group 16. And this told, I told you the state. If you go back to the, uh, to the presentation up here, you see the state number number four is uh, the speak state. So uh, we can conclude up here. We can conclude up here to say that this router is is now on the speak state. Of course, because it, it is sending the hello message. That means it is on the speak state. You know, as you uh, as you see up here, and the virtual IP. That's what I configured up here. I hope you guys know that. So so now let's uh, so you see that the router keeps sending. They keep uh, exchanging in order to determine who's going to be the active router and the standby router. So let's uh, open this uh, packet up here. So uh, what I think up here, this router is going to be the active router because it has the highest IP address. So let's uh, start the simulation. So in order to verify that, let's go to router to router two. In order to verify that, let's uh, do a show. Uh, uh, the show command you need is show standby. This is the command you need in order to. Uh, verify the, the HSRP configuration. Uh, so standby. As you see up here, it says the active router is local. So that means this router is the active router. And the standby router is 192.168.1. That's the, actually the IP address for router 1. As you see. And the priority, I told you, by default is uh, 100. It says default 100. And uh, uh, what, uh, this is the virtual IP address, as you see up here. And this is the virtual MAC address. Like I told you, the virtual MAC address, uh, no, the virtual MAC address is up here. Local virtual MAC address. Like I told you, it is zero, uh, uh, quadruple zero up here, and zero C, nine F, F, and this last three digit represent, represent the HSRP group number in hexadecimal. So, uh, and say state is active, as you see up here. So, so that's it. So, and this is the hello, the hello messages. They are sent every three seconds. So I hope you guys know that. So that's all I, I want to say about uh, uh, this HSRP configuration. It is very simple, but the problem is, uh, the problem up here is uh, don't let the IP address uh, determine the active router because <laughs> uh, IP address can change like eventually. So the best thing is to go and set the priority for the active router. So it's going to be the active router no matter what happened, you know, so uh, oh. Okay, now I'm gonna go to router 2 up here and I'm gonna try to change the priority So uh, in order to do that, let's go, we're gonna have to go to the interface configuration mode 
conf t i'm gonna do a interface f0 slash 1 f0 slash 1 sorry about that and i'm gonna do a, a standby standby let's use the question mark and you see priority up here that's what you are gonna have to choose priority so let's do it up here priority uh, priority and uh, let's use the question mark so the priority value is from 0 to 255 so I'm gonna make it 105 up here 105 and let's use the question mark and that's it so now uh, uh, I'm not letting the IP address to determine the active router because uh, I'm gonna advise you for guys that are doing configuration for HSRP to do the same thing so now the so now let's try to shut off this interface so you're gonna see that this router is gonna is gonna become the active router so uh, let's try to uh, to go back to simulation up here and I'm gonna try to uh, to go to this router up here from FA0 slash 1 I'm gonna try to shut down this interface shut it down up here so you see now the interface is shut down so the, the so the problem is uh, now uh, this router should now try to uh, you see this router is gonna send a hello message As hello uh, uh, this hello message is called uh, a resign hello <laughs> because the, the router is uh, is uh, is now telling that he is leaving he is out of service you know so you see this router is uh, is try is becoming the active router because now you see the state is state 6 if you go back to the presentation we know that state 6 is active router so now this router has become the active router and in order to prove that let's stop the simulation up here so let's go to the router and you see up here uh, let me make this uh, bigger it says it say active from standby it goes to active and in order, in order to prove you that let's uh, try to uh, do a show command uh, show standby show standby and as you see up here it say the active router is now local and the standby router is unknown because this router up here uh, now cannot communicate with this router as you see up here uh, cannot communicate with this router and if you go to this router up here and try to uh, uh, to do a show command uh, show a standby let's do a show standby and you see now it say the active router is unknown at the stand and the standby is in unknown and it say the state is in in its state uh, in its state you see the reason why because this router the interface is down that's why you have the state up here the, the first state is say in its state that's how you, you understand the, those HSRP states up here. So uh, I hope you guys know that. So now let's try to bring this interface uh, back again. So uh, let me open up the router. I'm going to go to interface FA0 slash. I'm going to turn it on. So let's give it some time. So now what, if, what you may think is you may think that this router, uh, router 2 is going to become <laughs> the active router once it, uh, this interface comes back up but uh, you you are if you think that way you are wrong is uh, this, this route once the router is active it's gonna stay active until this router goes down <laughs> so that's what i mean about uh, so uh, there is a future you can configure that uh, that's what we call pre uh, preemption let me go back to this router up here you see when we go to uh, show standby you see it say preemption is disabled so in order to configure preemption let's go back to to the interface configuration and we go, we're going to do interface fa0 slash 1 you're going to do standby standby uh, 16 and uh, that's the group number and we're going to do preempt that's how you preempt if you don't if you don't do preempt up here this router is not going to be able to become the active router once the interface comes back up. That's what I was trying to explain you. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is what we call interface uh, tracking. So you see this router is connected to this network up here, 192.168.2.0 network. 
So if one has, uh, for example, you see router 2 is the active router. It's now the active router. But if I, uh, this interface is down, uh, FA0 slash 0 up here, if it is down, this router is going to still the active router, and that's no good. So in order to resolve that, there is a feature that uh, HSRP have, that's what we call interface tracking. And in order to configure that, let's go to the router, router 2. We're going to do standby, and the group number 16, and let's use the question mark. And you see where it say track, that's where you can track the interface. So let's do tracking, track. So uh, you see it's going to ask you the interface you want to track. We're going we're to track the interface FA. FA, that's fast, fast internet, FA 0 slash 0 slash 0, and that's it, and that's it, you see up here, no, uh, let me use the question mark, <laughs> I'm going to mention that, because this is specific scope packet tracer, but if you are in the real world, it's going to ask you the cost, like uh, how much you want to, de uh, to decrement from the, from the priority, but uh, just keep in mind, with specific scope packet tracer, this is, uh, there is a 10 up here, <laughs> Just put in your head that there is a 10. So that means once you configure the interface tracking, so if this interface go down, this router is going to decrement uh, uh, 10 from uh, its priority. So like this priority is 105, the router is going to have a pri priority of 95. So just keep that in mind. So in, in order to prove you that, let me try to shut down this interface. So let me try to shut down this interface. FA0 slash 0. Let me shut it down. So uh, we're gonna we, you're gonna we're gonna understand that. So let's go now to the router. So let's go uh, quickly to the router. So let's do the the show command. Uh, show standby. Just show standby. As you see up here, it say the active router is local. But just just let's just give it some time. You say, but it say track interface fa zero slash one state is down and decrement to ten. So let's go, let's try to, to do a standby again. So it should, uh, let's just give it some time, but this router should, uh, in no time should be, this router should be the, the active router, router one. So let's uh, try to do the show standby up here. It says standby router is local and the default priority, because the reason why I forgot to, uh, to do the preemption up here. So I'm going to do preemption. I forgot to configure preemption. <laughs> Forget about, uh, sorry about that. So I'm going to go to interface FA0 slash 1 and I'm going to do uh, standby uh, 16 because you have to do preemption on both sides, otherwise, you will have a problem. <laughs> so preempt and now this router you see now, this router now is the active router as you see up here because it has the, the highest priority of 100. So let's go and quickly and do a, a show uh, standby up here as you see up here show standby when i do the show standby you see now the router is active router is local so that's how you can uh, uh, play with those uh, those uh, those uh, how you can play with uh, with the interface tracking so the the last thing i want to show you is i'm going to try to use this pc up here uh, so I'm going to try to go and open up, uh, open up this interface, uh, FA0 slash 0. I'm going to open it again. So this PC, I didn't configure it yet, but this PC, you, we're going to configure this PC and we're going to give it, uh, the IP address of 192, that 168, that one, that 100. And guess what default gateway you're going to give it? The default gateway, it should be the virtual IP. So it's going to be 192, that 168, that one, that five. So that's how you do the configuration for the host on your LAN. You have to give them a default gateway that's going to be the virtual IP, not the, I, the, phys the physical IP of the router. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. And now uh, you see I, or, I, I, uh, I configure OSPF. So this router are running OSPF, so they know about the networks uh, that are running up here. So let's go back to, let's go to router 3 and try to see what happened right now. So let me do, uh, let me do a show IP route. Show IP route quickly so we're gonna see this route has uh, has this route but it learned this route from those two routers so the is for the network uh, 192 that, that zero. so now let me try to send a ping from pc0 to, to router 3 so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to simulation mode right now 
I'm going to edit the filter up here. I'm going to choose ICMP. And I'm going to choose ARP. Okay, let me uh, try, uh, let me send the ping. I'm going to go to the command prompt up here. I'm going to do ping 192.168.2.3. That's the IP address for router 3. Uh, so let's uh, try to uh, send the, the packet. You see, this is the, the first packet is an ARP packet. As you see up here, and it's gonna send the ARP to the default gateway. Just as you see up here. So I, I don't need to explain you anything because you should already know that. Uh, let's try to, uh, to send the packet up here. You see, this is the ARP and the ARP. Who's replying right now? This is the, uh, this is how the one is replying. Uh, let's, let's try to see. Because the problem is router one is still the active router. That's what I guess. Yeah, router one is the active router. So as you see up here, because the reason why is uh, maybe this guy has a lowest priority. But you see the packet has go to router one, router and to the to router three up here. As you see up here, the packet. But when the packet come back from router three, it's gonna go to router one, router and to the PC. But uh, Let's try to see because I I was thinking this guy gonna do gonna do load balancing between uh, those two routers. So uh, you see in, now it is doing load balancing. That's good. So you see, and now this guy is trying to send. The, you see because this guy is sending an ARP request because it doesn't know the MAC address for this guy up here. But you see, it's gonna resp the the PC is gonna respond, and now the packet is gonna send. You see. So that's how, the, how it works. When the packet comes from here, it's going to be load balance between those two routers. But when the packet, uh, 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 the packet uh, is uh, leaving uh, PC0, it's going to go to the active router. So that's just like router 1 is the active router. So that's why it is going up there. So I hope you guys, you guys understand this process. Uh, and try to, if you want, you can try to uh, have the, the same diagram as me. So and try to simulate this HSRP uh, network like in Cisco Packet Research. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you for my next one. Thank you.